Our top five biggest hacks of 2015, all coming up now on ThreatWire. Hello world, I'm Shannon Morse and this is ThreatWire for December 30th, 2015. Your summary of the threats to our security, privacy and internet freedom. This is our last episode of the year and as such we thought we would wrap up the biggest hacks of the year. So we have compiled a list of the five biggest hacks of the year starting with number five which is VTech. VTech, a leading distributor and maker of internet connected children's toys, found a breach in their systems in late November that led to several million adults and children's data being stolen. The adult profiles contained names, email addresses, secret questions and answers for passwords, IP addresses, mailing addresses and download history, and the children's data included names, genders and dates of birth. To make matters worse, profile pictures of the children as well as chat messages with their parents were reportedly breached as well. As of December 15th, a 21-year-old British man was arrested in suspicion of being behind the hack and currently an investigation is underway. Number four is the Ashley Madison hack. In July of 2015, the affairs website called Ashley Madison was hacked and told to shut down or the data would be publicized. The site obviously did not shut down and the stolen data was released worldwide in August. The site did not delete personally identifying information of users, even when users paid to have their accounts be deleted. And as such, real names, home addresses, search history, and credit card transaction records were all released. Over 10 gigabytes of data and 34 million user accounts were breached. Due to the moral implications, this hack was very controversial and widely reported, although the journalistic ethics of some reports are still questioned today. Users were blackmailed, harassed, and some took their own lives. A class action lawsuit was filed against Avid Media, the company in charge of Ashley Madison. However, no arrests have been made at time of recording, and the CEO has since stepped down. Number three is Experian and T-Mobile. From September of 2013 all the way to September of 2015, 15 million account credentials were stolen from Experian's credit application processing for T-Mobile. Names, addresses, and birth dates were all exposed, as well as encrypted social security numbers and driver's license numbers or passport ID numbers. Unfortunately though, the encrypted data might have been compromised as well, but neither company has publicized what kind of encryption they actually use, what kind of technique. Experian and T-Mobile offered two free years of free credit monitoring to affected users. Class action lawsuits have been filed against the company, but have not been finalized. Number two is the health industry. Exilus Blue Cross Blue Shield announced a breach into their systems in August, which affected 10 million users. Data including names, birth dates, social security numbers, addresses, phone numbers, and some credit card numbers were stolen. Two years of free credit monitoring was offered to anyone in this hack, and Mandiant Security was hired to investigate the breach of information. But many, many months before Exilus was the hack of Anthem in January. 80 million customers and non-customers, if you had been an Anthem card holder in the past decade, had data breached, including social security numbers, birth dates, full names, addresses, and income information. And the data was not encrypted, which is a huge HIPAA violation. Mandiant and the FBI are investigating this hack, and Anthem is offering, guess what, two years of free credit monitoring to affected users. And we're down to number one, which is Say it with me, folks, OPM. In June of this year, the U.S. Office of Personnel Management, which keeps a database of former and current government employees, reported a hack into their systems that was first discovered in April, but may have been happening since as early as March of 2014. The hack included names, dates, and places of birth, addresses, social security numbers, and security clearance background information. The American Federation of Government Employees also believe the breach compromised military records, veteran status, job history, pay history, pension information, gender, race, and health, and life insurance information. To make the hack even worse, 5.6 million sets of fingerprints were also stolen. It is unclear whether or not the hack was state-sponsored, but U.S. officials suspect Chinese hackers are at fault. The total reached almost 22 million people. This hack is our number one biggest hack of the year, not because of the number of people, but because of the repercussions. While victims were noted via mail and are offered 
guess what? Two free years of credit monitoring. See a trend here? Yeah, th me too. This is a national security issue. Fingerprints of possible security clearance individuals could have severe implications if they were hacked, especially if the hack did originate from a state-sponsored criminal. The OPM director resigned in July, and an interagency task force has been assembled to research the breach. Now, if you haven't paid for a freeze on your credit card information and your credit monitoring, yeah, maybe you should do that now. I think now's the time. We started ThreatWire back up earlier this year because the information on hacks, security, new regulations, etc., is very important to us. And we hope that it is important to you, too. Of course, if you want us to continue doing the show into 2016, as we are now, and even more episodes, consider becoming one of our patrons by contributing any amount that you want at patreon.com slash threatwire. I like this part of the show because we get to see some happy and adorable fur babies after all this horrific information about hacks that we keep on hearing about. If you are a Hush Puppy contributor, by the way, on Patreon, don't forget to send in your pet pics because I really enjoy to check them out. Threatwire.net is the place to go for all of our links. And with that, I am Shannon Morse, and I will see you in 2016 on the internet. End of line. Thank <laughs> you.